guys. Okay guys, I haven't been excited to do a versus video or comparison video in quite some time, but today we are talking about the CRK Pacific, my go-to survival knife, versus the SC6, which is in and of itself a very, very capable knife. And that's why I'm so excited to have done this test is because they both are awesome survival knives and honestly i both i love the ergos on both of these knives they feel really great but today i decided i'd talk about uh test these knives and talk about my experience with both and break down which one is better so in which one kind of won each test so without any further ado please don't forget to comment like share subscribe check out the patreon and the instagram down in the description below the support does mean a ton okay so let's talk about these two blades so the sc6 um it was the first one up on batoning and honestly just to say it both of these knives did an excellent job on batoning i couldn't really tell which one was better uh, i did a little bit more batoning with the sc6 because i have used the pacific so much and i will say i was impressed and surprised you guys could probably see by that first time i cracked the big piece of birch open uh it was like two or three strikes and just bam it popped right open and i wasn't uh doubtful that this knife could baton obviously being a six plus inch blade um, it is very capable of spanning you know four or five inch pieces of wood and of course when you have a longer blade you get more leverage on each strike especially with smaller pieces of wood so you can see that evidenced with this seasoned uh, kind of wood that i found here and some of the birch that i brought um, so yeah it is just a really and some of the birch as well now the birch of course was green that's why i didn't really feather stick it or use it too much but i kind of like to baton some greener wood because it's a little bit harder to crack and a little bit harder to baton either way though they both did a fantastic job the sc6 uh, didn't necessarily surprise me but it did impress me it was great um, i really did enjoy it super comfortable handle too moving over to um, feather sticking this is where things got a little bit interesting i was using this dried uh, seasoned wood here for example and uh, it was very very flaky it still is so you know uh, feather sticking this as a whole is not easy as you guys can see you know it really wants to just flake off so it's not super easy to uh, feather stick but once you kind of dig down deeper into the wood the less punky stuff does hold structure pretty well i will say this the pacific in my opinion did outperform the sc6 on this however it's really more splitting hairs because both did an excellent job and once again both have that you know just over six inch blade so you have plenty of ability to really draw down on the piece of wood you're trying to cut and you get really really great feathers when you get into the wood itself and uh, overall both of them are like really good at feather sticking i don't want to make it come off like i don't think one you know is adequate uh, i just think that the hollow grind that the chris reeves pacific has is just a step above the se and uh yeah it's just basically it it's just a little bit easier in my opinion i found it to be uh, just a little bit easier to feather stick but so overall that round will go to the pacific so first round i guess we'll go to se second round pacific now we went into notching and notching i think was another super super close one once again a lot of these both of these knives have so much so many characteristics that are similar that uh it's kind of hard to say which one exactly won but with notching i would say that it was pretty darn close to a tie i'm just gonna say it was a tie uh the pacific might have had a slight edge but then again the sc also did great so for notching i didn't do anything super in depth just a couple quick us uh, latch notches but i can get i can get a feel for both knives pretty fast from one notch so they both did a great job and they would both continue to notch well i say the only problem with these knives when it comes to notching what you're going to experience is because they are longer blades uh, they might not do things like pot hanging notches uh, as well because it requires a bit more tip precision as opposed to having that back end blade to bear down on so just keep that in mind but that would be both of these blades because like i said both of these knives are just about the pacific is just a hair just a hair bit longer but ultimately both of these knives are 
realistically about the same size. So anyways, going last, uh, going into the last test, it is striking ferro rods. Now, I do have a quick disclaimer. Neither of these knives would strike ferro rods as they come out of box. Whether it's the Pacific or the SE6, neither of these knives are going to strike ferro rods out of the box. So keep that in mind. They have both been modified. But that being said, uh, the Pacific clearly was the winner. The SE6, I probably need to go back and modify again. Uh, what I originally tried to do was just take the paint coating off and then I blew to the back of the, or the spine of the blade and so I tried to sharpen it myself I will probably have to retry sharpening the spine it's kind of tricky on these blades even when you do have the spine sharpened uh, with this knife it's still tricky because this is a Rowan differentially heat treated 1095 that means that the spine is softer than the cutting edge so uh, it's not going to strike ferro rods particularly well, so you just have to keep that in mind. And so I will say the definitive winner for striking ferro rods has to be the CRK Pacific. One, because as you guys can see here, as they both stood modified, the CRK Pacific struck ferro rod much, much better. And I did actually put a lot of time into sharpening the spine on the CRK Pacific because this is my go-to survival knife. Uh, I need it, obviously, to strike ferro rods. So this one is performed as expected but the se6 i think is capable of similar performance after a little bit more modification but either way you slice it do keep in mind that both of these knives if you want them to strike ferro rods off their spines will need to be sharpened uh, out uh, once you have them neither of them out of box are good at that so just bear that in mind um, but overall as far as survival knives go the se6 is really awesome and i will say for a knife that goes for anywhere from 140 to whoop, 140 to about 110 dollars depending on the day maybe the sale um, this is a really fantastic knife and the biggest thing that stuck stuck out to me when using the se6 is just how comfortable it is it's a very very comfortable whether you have it choked up like this or whether you choke back on it or just hold it in its proper you know uh, handle it is just a really comfy blade to get on and uh, i think that the 3d modeling ones or the 3d modeled ones that have a little bit more texture and palm swell those are even more comfortable but even the stock basic no frills sc6 is still incredibly comfortable the other thing that i really like about this blade is it's probably not a huge surprise because it is so similar to to the Pacific uh, is the overall size and blade length. Uh, it is just really great. This around just over six inch blade length is not necessarily the best for bushcrafting, though it can be pushed into that role, especially because you can choke up on the blade. Um, but overall, it's just a really great survival blade length and uh, survival knife size. It's one of those knives that's probably small enough that you're likely to carry it, but also large enough to handle a wide variety of tasks. Lastly, too, it's also tough enough to handle just about anything you throw at it. So that's kind of my experience with the SE6. It's very similar to the CRK Pacific, though in this test, I still have to give the win to the Pacific because it was slightly better at feather sticking and most importantly, and kind of critically it can strike a ferro rod so once again in that is after modification but i did modify both of them in this case so it's not like one is stock and one is not they're both modified it's just one is a little bit better so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at the se6 of course it is a permanent cast member you'll see it in more videos as always god bless and i'm out